Hello, my name is Stefan. Uh, my product here is the energy storage system for an electric scooter. Basically, we started off with an electric scooter with just simple batteries and decided to improve the uh, design by adding capacitors. Now, the reason for adding capacitors is simple. Uh, batteries are very good for uh, providing a lot of energy, but they don't give a lot of instantaneous power, which is what you need when you need to accelerate really quickly when you're going up a hill or just starting from scratch. So, we decided to add capacitors because those have a very good uh, power uh, rating, so they can deliver the energy instantaneously, but they don't store a lot of energy. So by combining the both, we were hoping that we could uh, do the best of both worlds. Um, for our system, we decided to use lithium-ion batteries, uh, just because those are the most uh, energy uh, efficient uh, storage devices out there, and just simple ultra capacitors. Um, in between them, we have uh, the main design portion of our project was a control system. So um, basically, the main part we had to worry about is uh, how to charge the capacitors and how to uh, connect the capacitors to the load. The simplest way to do that would just be putting the capacitors and the batteries in parallel um, and then just having them connected to the load. But we wanted to make it a little bit more efficient, so we added a buck boost converter system. Uh, basically, whenever the uh, capacitors aren't uh, are discharged. We use energy from the uh, batteries and connect it to the capacitors and to recharge them. And whenever uh, the load needs a higher current, we simply boost the device uh, by actually putting energy on the inductor and using it to uh, flow towards the uh, to load the load. Um, we also another implementation we added in was just a simple battery indicator just to so you know when to you need to recharge your batteries. So one of the things about lithium-ion batteries is you do need to keep them in specific battery voltage levels. So sort of like with your laptops or any other devices you have. So just keeping that in touch. And that's that's about it. Uh, I guess the the advantage of doing this project on long-term scale is uh, once testing it on an electric scooter, this can also be proven to other uh, devices, such as cars and uh, uh, other vehicles. Um, this would be the biggest advantage is cost. Uh, capacitors are a little bit cheaper to buy than lithium ion batteries. And in addition, it's also lighter. Um, one of the big things about batteries is they are very heavy. And the more weight you have on a vehicle, the more energy you need to use to move it forward. So by putting capacitors, which are very light comparatively, um, the efficiency of your vehicle overall is improved. Um, and so you don't need as many batteries. Um, and you can just replace them with capacitors.